Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing the third episode of my business talk series. I'm so excited. The response to the series is amazing. You guys have so many questions and you guys keep commenting new things I didn't address in the previous videos. So that just encourages me to make more videos about the different subjects you guys are bringing up. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about all the basic things you will need to start a successful business. These are all like little things that I feel are really important to focus on when you are starting up your business whether that's like your idea just like basic materials that you might need to help you out all that jazz so if you would like to know all the basics just keep watching this video but before we jump into the video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on those post notifications to get alerted every time i post a new video also don't forget to follow me on instagram it's just sabrina Atam. and also don't forget to follow me on my tiktok account i post on there daily and it's just sabrina Atam once again so that's pretty much it let's just jump right into the video so quick disclaimer before we jump into this video all of these tips and tricks that i share with you guys are based on my personal experience because i own myself two companies i own a clothing brand and i own a second company that i started working on recently and is going to be launching in 2021 i feel like i have a lot of experience in the entrepreneur life business type of lifestyle i've learned a lot i've made many mistakes and that's why i started this series to hopefully reach out to young entrepreneurs or just entrepreneurs in general or even people that were maybe thinking about starting a business but weren't too sure where to start and just wanted to get more tips and tricks before jumping into their project i'm not a professional in any type of way this is just like things that worked for me and that i find are important so i just wanted to throw that out there so let's just get started number one is your idea so before starting a business you need an idea so an idea whether that's going to be a product idea a service idea what are you going to be selling and this is one of the most important things about your business because that's the thing you are offering to customers that's the thing that people are going to want to buy so it's important that it's special unique interesting all these things a lot of people spend a lot of time on this part of their business like constructing their idea making sure that it's very appealing new fresh but i just wanted to mention a few things because a lot of people also get blocked during the stage and like don't know where to to advance from that point on people think like oh this already exists like i can't do that or oh this is not good enough or blah 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 and i just wanted to help you guys with your idea step one thing that is really important to know and this is something that one of my teachers told me in college he told me that everything in the world or already exists or already was thought of thought of it's really hard to find something completely unique that no one has ever thought about that no one has ever like started making it's very hard and almost impossible i always say almost impossible because there's always new things coming out that you're like oh my god i never thought about that good to keep that in mind and don't put too much pressure on yourself because a lot of people just like jump into the business like idea process and just like let everything go and get discouraged really fast because of this but i just wanted to tell you guys that you can develop a product that is inspired by others not copy them directly but get inspired by other people like example get inspired by someone and do it in your own way so it won't be exactly the same but like you'll have thrown in your own little twist on the idea and that will make it yours especially if you brand it properly and in your own way also it can be a new and improved version of a product that already exists it can be something that is already ex like exists and people already use but you just add your new version to it or a new update that it doesn't have already like a new feature maybe and also it's very important to add your own twist and any product or service that you do this is what people are going to recognize and like tie to the, the brand name they'll be like oh like example mcdonald's like i love big macs so i love big macs like big mac is a burger and you can get at burgers anywhere else but can you get that combination of bread meat sauce uh, toppings anywhere else no so that's why it's important to put your own twist on everything because people that that's what's gonna make you like that product is what's gonna make you stand out versus the competition second thing that is super super important is 
the name of your company and a lot of people also get stuck in the stage of finding a name for their company they're like oh my god this is not good enough it's not catchy enough whatever whatever and it's completely normal finding a name for your company is literally the hardest thing in the world because there's so many companies out there and literally every single name is almost taken already I completely understand everybody that is struggling in this stage try to find different ways to kind of like transform your name don't use words that have already been taken Taken or don't use words that are too known already try to like deform words mix words together to find like a combination that has never been done before also it's a very important stage of building up your business because the name is the first thing that people see it's the first thing that people hear and if it doesn't grab their attention or attract people that's a bad sign you want to get a name that people are going to be like that are gonna remember a name that people are gonna be like oh yeah i've heard of that before and not a name that's too long or too complicated or too hard to say people will just forget about it you want something that's easy to say that stands out that is fresh it also has to relate to your brand so whether that's a different word you use it has to kind of relate to what you're gonna do or sell also a tip and trick that i can give you guys to create a new name is to invent a word it doesn't even have to exist like you can use a word that doesn't exist in the dictionary just invent a word that's the best thing to do because there'll be less chances that somebody has already a company named by the word you invented and also it's kind of unique because you invented the word and like it, it makes you stand out more third step is register your company so this is more of like the legal side of business the more like paperwork people sometimes call it like boring side I personally do not like this side of the business lifestyle I hate paperwork I hate governments stuff and just like it's just boring I like more creative things like marketing uh, product design customer service stuff like that but anyways you cannot put this aside it's very important to register your business I live in Quebec Canada Quebec Montreal and you have to register your company name with the government so you register your name it costs like about $40 just to register your name and how it works is depending on how many sales you make a year that will kind of tell you if you need to charge well if you pay taxes to them yes or no so if you make under a certain amount of sales you don't pay any taxes but if you make above a certain amount of sales then you have to pay taxes and when your company pays taxes you have to charge the taxes to your customers because if you do not well that the tax that you'll have to pay at the end of the year will be deducted off your profit which is not what we want to do because those taxes can be pretty high sometimes so it's just better to charge them to your customers so you don't have to worry about the taxes at the end of the year you need to register your stuff with the government and it's extremely important part because the government checks your stuff some people kind of underestimate underestimate that but the government is on your butt checking your stuff so you want to make sure you're paying your your stuff making sure that they your name is registered make make sure everything is declared don't do anything not legal or illegal i should say so number four is website this is something i completely underestimated when i first started my business um the first website that i started was with wix a lot of people use wix and it's great to start off with the only thing i find a little tricky about wix is the um, i feel like their website database or processing server is not very good like i would have clients going onto my website saying that i was bugging that they couldn't check out uh, that they had problems uh paying with their credit cards and that's really bad because right there the first things that pop up in a customer's head when they're having problems on a website is oh is this a scam is this a reliable company why am i having problems paying like this is not normal or second they'll just get discouraged and not buy anything so you just lost a customer so that really sucks and you want to avoid that as much as possible because that's such a small detail that can make such a big difference that you just want to make sure you don't have any problems with your website so i used to use wix before and i had a lot of problems so i switched to shopify shopify you can make a website on there and sell your products and i know shopify is a big 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 company like literally kylie cosmetics uses shopify so 
they they have to have a lot of how can i say this processing power they have to have a good they need to have like a strong website to be able to, to supply all those customers all the traffic going onto the website like they have no choice but to be big so that's why i was attracted to shopify because i knew kylie cosmetics uses them and i'm like if she can have like millions of people go on her website and have no problem i should probably not have any problems with my customers this time if i had advice to give you guys just go ahead and start off with a good website uh, wix was great for a small company but if your your intentions is to grow your company and not do it for a little while just like start a company with a good website so i would start off right right off the bat with a good website it might be a little more pricey but you just know that you're at the right place you won't have any problems it's just better like that honestly like that's one mistake that i did that i regret that's why i'm telling you guys to not do that mistake tip number five is shipping materials so shipping material is extremely important because if you're selling items this doesn't apply for services but if you sell like clothes products you need to have nice shipping material to make sure that your products get to the customer in their initial state and that they're not like broken or scratched or like damaged so i usually buy all my shipping material so i use poly mailers to ship my clothes i like poly mailers because they're waterproof and they're really hard to like tear i usually get like ones that are pretty good so my stuff gets in like in perfect condition i have no problems and i usually get all my stuff off of amazon or you can also get it off of uline which is a bulk supplier company that sells like tape stickers literally anything you need for a company like they even have like desks office chairs carts racks literally anything to supply a warehouse a company they have you have like boxes as well so if you're shipping out like products that need like example cups and you need those little peanuts to like put in the boxes so that it don't it doesn't break uline is the best place for that and also you have amazon that they have everything on there not too expensive and also prime so you can get it like the next day or two days after so that's great and the last thing is super cheesy and a lot of people are going to be like oh the sabrina like obvious but you have to have have passion for what you want to do so don't start off with an idea that you're meant about start off with something that you already love so much so example if i take my story i love hoodies i still do like oversized hoodies like two extra large hoodies even though i wear like medium size i love wearing like extra large hoodies so that's why i started a clothing brand where i sell hoodies it was like the perfect combination for me like i was selling something that i love to wear plus Plus, I love different types of hoodies so that's exactly what I'm doing I design different types of crew necks hoodies and also I sell them in sizes from small to five extra large so it covers everybody so there's body diversity anybody can wear my merch it once again relates to me because I love to wear oversized hoodies so I'm selling hoodies up to five extra large but yeah you see like this idea was something I already loved so much and that is why I'm still passionate to sell create new collections after three years of having my company so that's why i find this step above all the most important and the one you should have before even starting to find an idea find a name register your company all of this you need to have a passion for the thing you're about to sell or a passion for the service you're about to offer to people because i really find that kind of translate into what you're doing someone that has a passion for something definitely shows like whether you're presenting your product online whether you meet new people and you talk about your company the way you're gonna speak about your company the way you're gonna speak about your product through the words you're gonna say will show how passionate you are and how much you care and people definitely grasp that that's why i say like passion just shines through and it's so important i definitely recommend that you find what you're passionate about and go with that don't start something that you're half in to it start with something that you are completely in love with and that's why you want to sell it to everybody that's why you want everybody to have your product because you are in love with it so that's pretty much it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope my basic things you need to start a successful business will help you kind of prepare like a path or kind of guide you if you haven't started your business yet or if you have started your business you can definitely take these into account and work on specific things 
things that you find maybe weren't work on enough in your company like whether that's the shipping material or whether like that's a passion side readjust maybe what you're selling or readjust things that you were like less passionate about if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below I always respond to the comments if they're too long I'll just make a, a video about it I have no problems doing that this business series is made to answer all the questions people have so leave all your comments down below we'll chat down there don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to not miss any of the business talk episodes and also don't forget to follow me on my instagram it's sabrina a. Tam. and also check out my tiktok it's sabrina a. Tam. so that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye